Hey everyone, it's Michael here with Goody Reader News. E-Ink is diversifying farther away from e-readers with a new 32-inch color e-paper screen. This is something that they just showed at SID Display Week uh, in San Diego, and this is the first time that they've released this large of a screen. We know that it is using E-Ink Triton 2, and it does have a color mode and a normal monochrome grayscale mode. The resolution in the grayscale mode will be 2560 by 1440, and the full color mode, they would not say a resolution, but it'll give you 720p. Lately, E-Ink has been going into digital signage. They've been doing tags for supermarkets, for your luggage, and they actually have a large setup at the UN headquarters uh, in New York, but they're only using seven inch displays. It's known as the E-Wall, and it has 231 seven inch displays, all tiled to show a singular image. Now that e-ink is doing a 32 inch screen if they wanted to do anything like this in the future they would need less screens and they would be able to cover a wider area what practical usage do you think that e-ink will actually use for this i could see it in outdoor environments in zoos showing you interactive maps of the zoo because it's low powered and it is very well uh, in the sun. You won't have to worry about glare or anything like that. I could see it happening in airports because you'll be able to see it from farther away because of the crispness of the e-ink. And with full color, you'll be able to do a lot more than you would with the standard uh, e-ink display that we all know uh, in the Amazon Kindle Paperweight, the Kobo, the Sony, and other popular e-readers on the market. I think that this is a good move for e-ink. They're not exactly making a lot of money with e-readers anymore. In fact, the last four quarters, they've been losing money consistently, uh, between 20 and $50 million a loss a quarter. So this is why they're diversifying away from uh, e-reader screens and trying to bring their tech to other different segments. For Good E-Reader News, my name is Michael.